Imre Jan defies gravity. Matt Miazga lifts a trophy. The US men's national team to face Ghana again. Diego Simeone is desperately seeking right backs. And Zlatan's surgery was a success. Good morning, everybody. I'm Daryl Grove. You're listening to The Goalmouth, and your calendar should say Tuesday, May 2nd, which means we should all wish a very happy birthday to would be Miami soccer kingpin. David Beckham. Up first today, Liverpool are one step closer to Champions League qualification this morning after yesterday's 1-0 win over Watford. Liverpool's goal came from Emre Can, the German international surprising everyone, maybe even himself, with an acrobatic finish in first half stoppage time. It wasn't quite straight on enough to be a bicycle kick, nor side on enough to be a scissor kick, so we'll possibly need a new name for this type of goal. My suggestion is the John John. You know, like the Can Can with the high kicks? No? Well, I thought it was good. Um, if you haven't seen the goal, then don't miss today's Goalmouth email because I've put a link to the video in there. If you can come up with a better name, please share it. Some quick US national team news for you now. Matt Miazga, remember him? He lifted the KNVB Cup this weekend, that's the Dutch Cup, playing for Vitesse Arnhem, where he's on loan with the rest of the Chelsea fringe squad. This is Vitesse's first ever trophy, unless you count the Dutch second division, which I'm not sure if we should. It's also Miazga's first ever trophy, unless you count the MLS Eastern Conference Championship, which I definitely don't because it's a glorified semi-final. Or the MLS Supporters Shield, which I'm still not sure if we're supposed to count that or not. Either way, gefeliciteerd to you, Mr. Matt Miazga. That's congratulations pronounced very badly in Dutch, I think. Um, Here's hoping we see Miazga back in the US national team sooner rather than later. Speaking of, US soccer has announced that the men's national team will play a friendly against eternal rivals Ghana on July 1st in East Hartford, Connecticut. It's been talked about as a warm-up game for July's Gold Cup, but we all secretly know that US soccer just felt plain weird about not playing Ghana in a while and so arranged this game to restore some semblance of normality to our lives. It would also be good practice for when we inevitably face Ghana at the World Cup next year for the fourth tournament in a row. Today is Champions League semi-final day. Hooray! It's Real Madrid hosting Atletico Madrid in the first leg of the first semi today. Monaco and Juventus play tomorrow. Quick injury news. Gareth Bale is out for Real Madrid. But that's okay because possible replacements include James Rodriguez, Isco, Asensio and Alvaro Morata. And probably some of the really talented players that can't even get a look in because Real's bench is so ludicrously deep. So they will be fine. Meanwhile, Atletico Madrid have a bona fide right-back injury crisis. Juan Fran, injured. His makeshift replacement, Jimenez, injured. Third choice, Shimi Vishaliko, you guessed it, injured. So if you're right-footed, have your boots with you, you're not scared of facing Ronaldo and Marcelo at the same time, and can be at the Bernabeu for 2.45pm US Eastern Time, please send an email to maninblack3 at hotmail.com with your resume attached. Or if you forgot your boots, just watch the game on TV with me. It's on Fox Sports 1. Finally, we'll close with a little good news. Seems Zlatan Ibrahimovic's knee surgery went well, at least according to his agent Mino Raiola, who said in a statement, Zlatan Ibrahimovic has undergone successful knee surgery, he will make a full recovery and has not suffered a career-ending injury. Um, Here's the details. The surgery was performed at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center under Dr. Freddie Fu, who is famous for his work with NFL players. And I think he's kind of like the real life version of the Bill Hader character in the movie Trainwreck. Now, for all the jokes about Zlatan's superhuman abilities, it's actually going to be a long road back for a 35-year-old player and will take months and months of hard work. So here's wishing Zlatan a healthy recovery. Soccer is definitely more fun to watch with Ibrahimovic on the field. Plus, we can't rely on Emre Can for all our acrobatically volleyed goals now, can we? That's all from me for today. The man, the myth, the legend, the George Qureshi will be with you tomorrow. So I'll leave you with today's goalmouth top tip. Never ever attempt to pronounce Dutch words without watching all the YouTube videos first. And even then, be prepared to get it wrong.